Hello everybody, let's work out um, some exercises for diminished chord and secondary dominant. So we are basically substituting the secondary dominance by a uh, diminished 7th chord. So let's start with C minor, so C minor 7, D minor 7 flat 5, E flat major 7, F minor 7, G dominant 7, harmonic minor here. So A flat uh, major 7, we'll keep the B flat 7 here. And we also have B diminished 7, okay? So that's a flat 7, 7, okay? We'll keep that. If you are wondering why, uh, the reason is that it happens in music too. So even though we are technically harmonizing the uh, C harmonic minor scale, we, I still want to keep the B flat 7 uh, here. And, uh, and that's because you hear that in uh, real music, okay? So very simple, we are going for a uh, diminished 7 chord. Uh, substitution. So instead of putting a G7 here, I'm going to put down a B, diminished 7, very simple. So you just go down half step uh, from the uh, root, and uh, you should be able to find the dim diminished chord, okay? Okay, so there's no uh, no diminished chord for this one because it's a D minus on that 5. So, uh, so there's no diminished chord no secondary dominant, first of all, D, E, F, G, A, right, so there's no secondary dominant for the chord, and hence no diminished chord for this guy, okay? And uh, E flat, E flat, um, so that should be a uh, D, um, diminished 7, F, that should be an E, diminished 7, G, that would be F sharp. A flat, that should be G diminished, uh, G diminished, seventh. B flat, let's see, B flat, that should be a, uh, A diminished, seventh. And no chord for the, uh, 7 diminished 7th, okay? So an let's uh, analyze them, okay? Let's analyze them. So this is the 7 diminished 7 of 1. Here we have diminished 7 of flat 3. Not enough space, so this is the 7 diminished 7 of 4. So we are treating this um, each of these chords as if they were one chord, okay? And uh, this is the seventh of this chord here, hence the uh, four here, okay? Because this one is the four chord. And uh, this is um, seven, the minus seven of um, five. This is the seven, the minus seven of flat six. And uh, this is the seven, the minus seven of flat 7. Alright, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes, so let me uh, just check it very very quickly. So, so You can leave a comment if I did make any mistake, okay? So, A flat G, B flat A. Um, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, I think I'm good. So that's it um, for this exercise, okay? So let's work out another example real quick. So let's go to, say, G major, okay? So G major 7, G A minor 7, G A B minor 7, C major 7, D dominant 7, E minor 7, and F sharp minus 7 flat 5. So immediately there's no substitution for this one because there's no secondary dominant uh, chord. Okay. And uh, let's see. G minus 7. Uh, G major 7. So I'm just going to write out the uh, diminished 7 chord. Okay. Substitution for the 5, for the secondary dominant. And uh, C sharp, 
diminished seven. And that would be an A sharp diminished seven. So again, I'm just going down half step from the root. And uh, that should yield your diminished seven chord approach. Um, B diminished seven. C sharp, D sharp. Okay, that's it. Cool. So that's it. I'll stop here. Again, first, uh, it's very simple. The concept here is very simple. Um, instead of having a secondary dominant, so in this case, for example, B7, you are playing a D sharp diminished 7 instead. And that would actually yield a B7 flat 9 cell, assuming the bass is still playing the B for you. Okay, cool. That's it. So hopefully uh, everything still makes sense. And uh, I would see you in the next video where we talk about uh, the second function of diminished seven chord. Okay, see you there.